Ember, no Slark, no Spectre. Drow Ranger Team doesn't really fit here too nicely. Eternal Envy. What does it even go for? It's tied. And Darkseer even takes that one at bottom, so that might actually just force Kaka to go back. That might prompt Seeker to get aggressive here at top. As this mid lane. Moose taking way too much damage. Yes, he got locked in by his own replay. Oh boy, the double damage ring gives the extra bit of damage he wishes. Twan's pulling bottom. And how has shown himself to. It's almost like they're just trying to like balance out the lanes. And everything is still fairly balanced. And still like how TG does something like this. It forces the mid lane, there's no fortification, so Moo just gonna quickly drag and form and tail. Getting RTZ into a little bit more of a riskier position. And Sean also gonna arrive. Here comes Kaka. The Raps is gonna blow. Sean lines up for the double sun, catching Puppy out at the this same time. They need more damage though. And Bad. they just don't have it. They're fighting underneath the, the ultimate. The exit of it now. It comes out with a black cannon damage. Moo will stay alive thanks to Kaka. And RTZ, he is gonna go down. The hack doesn't get the end. The exit no extra alive coming back into him. And Puppy can't even get his stomp off. She'll actually trade off a two for one. With the Tide Hunter who's already li like leaving the lane. You don't have Finger of Death yet over on Chuan, so they can't get an instant kill. They're hoping for a moment on Arteezy. Uh, but it's bottom lane where Hal's gonna get caught out first, down inside the tree line. There's then back to mid, the relocate's coming in with AP. Arteezy will drop, they blow the Ravage. They hit Highlight and die as well. But they'll get a two buff, even if they do lose their safe lane already. They might actually just go for the dive with Eternal Envy. Yeah, there it is. No, there's no TP. Search him up. The support's coming in, the call down's on his way, EE. Well, he's gonna run into the last bit of the call down the town. There's almost no damage to Darkopter. Who, however, sending a few of us, there's no instant back into a wall, but now it comes out. How will drop, the Lion of Chorn will join him. And KP will arrive, but he's coming in almost a little bit too late. Kaka also relocates himself down to this one. They need to kill on the Colonel Envy, but the Telegraph from Highlight Dive, allowing Envy to fight a little bit longer. But there's that next card. Eternal Envy will be dropping here. They're able to, well, actually, KP, oh no! He had five, five charges of the Burning Spears on him. He was never going to live from that. Yeah, way too late, just because again, Dyer against Tuscar. Oh, the universe is going to break, break, break it. Dyer observe what's there, Eternal Envy. He won't be fine with the life break, but he's already hexed up. The armor's on, he's got 15 more shots from the Kelly Break. And a back wall, Hitchuk and the Splitter. Eternal Envy will just survive with it, but no, he won't. He'll go down. How? They actually made to regather themselves with the help of the Ravage. Then Envy, okay, he's going to fight back. They feel like they need to commit to win this engagement. RTZ still got the next system going to work. Swan wants to keep him in position. KP's going to TP out. Universe does not have a back to stop it. Chase is going with RTZ. Can he actually reach him? He just looks so damn slow with just these threads on. And Kaka will tether away. The Stomp will put him into sleep. The Universe will break him out of it. Kaka up to the tree line. He will now drop. And Chuan will also have the same fate. But you managed to get a buyback over on the Huskar secret. There's well, actually me. I didn't underestimate how much they were going to be able to heal. Moose going to pop the dragon form. There's a sentry down already. The relocate. Going to bring everyone else back to the front lines. Roshan over the back. Again, there's no more combo. Moose dropping down. There's no more the total envy. He's just so damn close to get the celebrate. The pilot dies inside the Roshan. He's able to keep him alive. KP back to the front line. The relocate out. You've actually got one for one trade off at the moment. Roshan still licking his wounds at 730 life. Chuan just needs to get off away from the field, turn for the one stun. The damage from our team's not enough, but it will be enough from Puppy Stomp, keeping the spirit on top of Newbie. They go back in to finish the job. They look towards Roshan. No call down available. The buyback comes out from Sean. They're trying to make secret thing twice with no exit. The damage won't be as much to stop. At least keeps KP in position. And the split up tries to bomb the back. Three. Oh, combo! Hit beautifully! The damage still is enough! Kaka, okay, it will be. Now TZ finds the double. How isolating up against Universe. Who wants to walk back through the wall? Roshan is still also alive. Secret walk away with a good fight as Puppy and Universe hook up for that combo. The vacuum wall into that green would have so much damage. For a moment, I thought that we're going to survive. Like Kaka, he still had another two bottle charges once he once he got out of the stun. But he just can't repair that damage quick enough. Now Chuan also in a little bit of trouble. The stomp not instantly coming out from Puppy. He's almost playing around with Chuan at the moment. And a relocate is on the way. Double towards the universe, bringing Howl along with him. Parker, is there a, well, there is actually a Jumbo Grave still available. The universe triggering off his mech. And big for of death, he's still got seven stick charges as well. Makes a break for the tree line. The flat cannon will not be enough damage. He waits longer before he'll trigger off these stick charges. Now it happens with the combo heal from Highlight Dive. Universe keeps running, but it's not far enough away. The stomp from Puppy, just a fraction of a second too late. Yeah, but I... Be interested to see if they bring anyone else with a fortification up. 
It's not going to be the easiest thing to finish off this tower. The stomp from Puppy will come, and here starts the TP. With a split the cut, right on the line for this. He'll snap him back, wants to get himself out of here, but he cannot do it in time. The relocate he could have brought move with him. TP position they come. Where is the movement? Uh, TC wants forward. NV, who do you want to jump on? He's going to go over towards move. You've still got Parker in a position where he can potentially relocate, say that. Then they move forward with how Chuan. They isolate a turtle. It's making it difficult. Now the Ravage will pop. Oh, he does it. He's holding him there for the moment. And now the back wall will happen. The mech and the split up. Kai P, he's actually moving far enough away, but no, he's not. Puppy's there waiting with open arms. Two heroes down for Nubi. They're just trying to bail out of here. That was not. We're just going to stomp that fight, but. Uh, instead, the secret who comes out and top and the Aegis Immortal will be passed over to Eternal Envy. So again, EE having more hates going BKB. Eternal Envy, whenever I see him play Slark, he's like, I'll go Manta before I get a BKB and jump his main is, does he have enough damage? The answer is yes. emphatically yes. Blood for blood. If he's gonna get clipped to see yeah. where Nubia are positioning before the fight begins. Thanks to Kaka though, everybody now knows when the Aegis falls. <laughs> That's that Envy. They have to get to wait it out. That Aegis Immortal is still on it. Envy is low. Ravage. a fine man Ravage. The Splitter rather ineffective, but now moving forward. He's gotta keep your eyes on the Turtle Envy. He's jumping forward for KP, actually leaving the rest of his teammates behind, including Arteezy who will drop the Darcy of Vac Wall. They're able to make it a little bit more space. They get through the range ranks. EE -E, back to the front line. And again, and there it is. The Aegis Immortal is gone. They waited it out. EE, -E, the Shallow Grave from Puckline. Positioning perfect. EE -E wants to keep on fighting. The stomp from the rocket is going to be enough. The stomp from, from a puppy can't make enough space. They're going to lose both their primary pushing cores here, Secret. The newbie defense and they're already on the hunt. Sean is moving forward, but he's got to be careful. They find Pyline Dye, and Pyline Dye can <laughs> He really has nothing, and Chuan and Kaka, they relocated forward, Puppy! No, the Zelda! It's gonna stop him! The Dragon Tower will have just in time! He was ready to punch Kaka, but he could have... Extra buff up, they got that Ogre Frost Mage. They can wait, they're... They're not waiting, they smoke. Who walks directly into him, break them. They go directly on top of Puppy, remove his aura, and now the Ravage of KP, hitting on three eternal enemies. No real problem in this fight, just hit the Yule Center from the Death Rock, bring her up and towards the air, but the finger of death instantly puts RTG down, and Moon just goes for more. KP with the Anchor Mask, highlights their drop, the back wall, trying to create a little bit more space, but they got the BKB set up anyway, to eternal enemy, man fighting. It is five on enemy right now. He is the meat in the secret set. Oh, he's holding. He's actually holding on. They can't hit. Did they actually just, just win this fight? It. Yep, they just did. KP attempts to TP out. He'll be successful. Unbelievable. He'll survive in the basement, man. <laughs> EE. -E. I. We. Come on. We reacted as if this fight was over for a secret. Well, it, it looked over. Oh, boy. They just couldn't hit him. Like, what was it? Was it mischanced? Was it also like, did he break the silver at some point? They just couldn't. It was the Heaven's Hopper combined with the fact that. I'm gonna fight. I was already getting in my mind prepared for why we won that fight. I was like, I was gonna talk about how they caught DP off guard. Then all of a sudden, the total enemy is just like one before you. Know, time. Oh, very, very deep. They can't the death will kill him off. He just had no time to react. He's only got a five second BKB. Mid mid lane. Yep. His room from Eternal Envy, he's just staring down Hal, Hal. He's gonna BKB and TP out, but the damage is more than enough to kill him before he can complete it. It starts to tick forward. Tantal Envy will be the front man runner. Moon hits him straight away. They really want that kill with a four star again. Chuan's on Robin. And they got another kill. The Ravage. The Ravage. Number one scare trigger. KP. Now number two. That's nine heroes in total. Hit by that. They kill him. The back wall is there. The fence is DK up towards the air. Tantal Envy. Shallow Grave jumps as well. He'll finally trigger off that BKP. Running out. He's so low. They can't finish the job. Moon four stops away. Into the infant. He'll survive. Universe going to get fingered down. There's still a one. For one trade up, but you burn both your ravages. Can't can't can tether himself out too. The team secret on the front door. They bring down the tier three tower. The TVs are coming back. Nubi, they're not going to give this one up and out of fight. The Turtle Envy, however, is the only real target in the front line. And now, Moon, thanks to the stomp from Puffy. Well, actually, that doesn't really help as much as RTZ. He got control up for a bit. Moon comes back in again. Here's the Turtle Envy. He removes the passive with the sound of the color great high by night. It's just sitting on the back line. The Uber Medic right now, keeping a Turtle Envy alive until the DK can finally 
finish the job. The corner is both going down that easy. Has to burn up, up that initial stun initiation from Sean. They're moving into the tree line. Moves the name Blip 2. Yo, Yor sets the rock. Move. He's waiting for the attack. Artizi slipped his way through the tree line, but Sean is back again with the stun. Artizi just cannot get Sean off his back, and he will be dropping down. Newbie defend their mid racks. Well, Newbie, if they're going to take this fight, it's going to be in vision. I don't think this is a it's fight that you want to take. Roshan's already gone. Artizi is going to take the cheese. Eternal Envy now has the Aegis the Immortal dropping its tree. How is it going to pop that call down nice and early and try and get rid of the creep wave? Uh, E.T. Spirit's out. Looking for his early targets. And Howl waits a little bit longer. Damn, we've got to keep watching that time. So they got one minute and ten seconds left on the, uh, on the Aegis. But then they jump forward again. Who can have self done But Eternal Envy, this he's also completely out of mana at the moment. Wants this Aegis the Immortal trigger. He wants to soak up abilities. There's no creep wave on the front lines. Puppy can go for the stomp. Exorcism is available, but they're trying to use Eternal Envy as a buffer right now. And Envy, he just doesn't. He just goes for the rack. They're gonna load us all up nice and quickly. And Envy, now low charge. Ray will keep him alive. He's still got that Aegis for another probably 40 seconds. He's so. Oh, he ticks out! Okay. That's maybe not part of the initial plan. And now Eternal Envy, the stun will be there. No lot of sword help from Universe. Back wall. He catches that move as well as KP. Move He's looking to reset. Early BKB. And KP, where is that rabbit? Currently he's silenced. He can't get back into the fight. Artizi brings the exorcism to the front line. And Envy, you're going for it. Go for it. There goes your rabbit with the Yule Sun. Falls the BKB. Second one will pop. Artizi hit by that. And the finger of death. They break down Artizi. So thank you for your exorcism for Eternal Envy. Still on the front line. Universe there to help him with a splitter from Puppy. He'll create a lot of space. They need to start flying back. Lion's coming back. Give them already taken the melee rack. The fear on the gyrocopter make a beeline for the mid. I don't you, know. You've still got 90 seconds until the first drive. It's just back up again. However. Yeah, he's probably gonna buy it, but there it is. You really just go the mid without any double ravage, or even hey, you've got the angle too. How long we got left? Count it down for Kaka to arrive back in. He's, He's gonna, gonna surround. jump in. Eternal Envy sums up. There's your BKB. KP jumps in. There's your first Ravage. Five by nine. Rock down by Boom. Puppy also zoned out this way. Artiz on the front line. But he has enough damage. And the Yule Sun himself up. Now the Ravage will go again. Hitting on Puppy. Artiz in the finger of death. Can they kill him? The clap back. Kaka is still alive. He was gonna go him up. The buybacks are coming in. Kaka's alive. He's actually keeping Howl up as well. So how can come back in with Arabia? They bring down Eternal Envy. Three are down for Team Secret. All will have five back. He presses the Rucker, but he realizes, okay, all the BKBs are up. I'm going to reset my position. How gets a little bit low. As soon as that happens, he jumps back in. Catches both the cores and they immediately go down as a result. Mm -hmm. Even if he misses on the first Ravage, which he did, doesn't matter. You'll catch him with the second one. Yeah. No refresher on the side of Team Secret. Those are five second BKBs. You have to take the newbie in a fight though if you want to hold Rax. Uh, Alice, he's approaching the front lines. They avoid the Spirit Stomp. And now Artizi with the Shiva Scud. All he does is just hit the creep wave. Ow, he's fine with this. They move forward, move. Now goes into Dragon Form. Eternal Lem, he actually got pissed off over the back line. They load us all over on the death rock. Trying to keep Artizi alive, but there's the rabbit. They all go bouncing up and down. And KP goes for another hit. He hits four of them again. Puppy will go down. The buybacks are coming out. Universe is stranded on the front lines. The bottom rack is already in the sidelines. And then beat BKB, front line, newbie. They want to disengage. Move maybe the sacrificial man, but he's also got the panic. He turns around, can't keep the attack coming, however. Sean trying to be the space creator, but it wasn't enough. He can't even blink himself away. He might have a four staff in a moment. He'll lose the gem. If they really catch up to him, and there it is. The splitter as well as spirit siphons being committed to kill off Chuan. Bottom rack, you've still got one Ravage up. It's 36 seconds until double Ravage is there for KP. He'll move forward to the front lines. They break the move. Now they realize it's the back three man wall. That can't count three, but isn't it enough? You can't count four stuff the way the ghost will protect him in half. The damage is this hard to think of. The splitter is happening. You can't get stuck for the moment. KP already used the Ravage. You've got the buyback coming back. Seeker Ravage is assaulting inside Doobie Pope. That moves in trouble. Notice what they've themselves up. They're going to have to do it twice now. The buyback's gone. so low. How? Backing out, he doesn't have the immortality. Satanic's on cooldown for 13 more seconds, but they haven't taken the next plane of racks. You take a fight, you force the buyback, but you haven't achieved any other objective yet. Unbelievable that Secret even come close to winning that fight. Well, they the to be base. They're coming forward. How is that stuff? You can't jump. He's no longer tethered. Will they have enough time? Who comes in from behind? The turn is going to get stunned up. Can't jump. Three they seconds until they can pull back out of here. The back of universe comes back out. You've got a turn of Now isolated. How will bring him down? 105 seconds without the farmer. He has to keep running. Two. He basically got BT out.
Like, that, like BKB and TP out, that's the only hope he's got. The missile's chasing him down. He makes the run. There's the TP. Oh, the damage is so the damage much. is too much. He can't survive. Two minutes now without RTZ. The moment, newbie. They attack. They go to wow, that tower. It doesn't stand a chance. They still have fortification here, secret. Five seconds until MV is up, but you're still missing your death profit. And they move for the Megas. Universe, double wall would be the hope, the prayer that it could actually do something. But you got 43 seconds until MV. The timer is too much. He backs, and then the initiation. KP's gonna catch it. Universe up there, five back. He's down. He can't even get a refresh drop. MV's gone. I don't think the hope receives secret will go with him. Envy will be shallow graves up to try and survive. Puppy almost trying to use himself as a distraction. Envy will jump forward, but the damage, the physical is still too much. How is the beat? And how will take the kill over on the poor little Envy Husker? The top rank will join him too. You can stomp up 14 seconds until that's easy. This is the last thing the secret will have, which potentially repel Newbie, who are now megged against Team Secret. There for them with the Aegis and Cheese. It's going to make it that much harder for Team Secret to go line here once again. Smoke oh is going to come out, but it's just going to be to get to the mid lane even faster. Secret are back at full force. You still have now Dark Seer back with his full combo with the refresher orb. So we can make a play for that 13 seconds to go. The tier 4 tower dropping up easy. Will that trigger the ultimate? They try and slow down Luby. Universe still can't find that opening just yet. And they jump forward. There's the back. You only got out how the big game is to go. AP, not a great ultimate. May still be another. They can kill off our easy. They're back to bring in town. Where is the extra damage? He is back to the front line. But you've already got your fortress open, ready for attack. The song from Puppy helps them set up Universe. Where is the dream? It's just not there. You've actually, you've already used the refresh roll. There's nothing more to fight with. Tanka, tether's over. He keeps Howl alive. And we now isolated. This should be it. With the hex up. Universe is also dropping quick. The Shallow Grave just prolongs the inevitable. Which the Eternal Envy dying. Universe will go down to it. There it is. GG. It looks like the newbie streak was going to be ended by Team Secret here in game number two. But after 71 minutes and 47 seconds, newbie will take the series 2 0 against Team Secret. Unbelievable display of skill from both teams, but newbie come out on top. Just superior team fight throughout. They held their high ground for so long that at one point it didn't matter. The decision of how to go for that rapier, barely getting caught out at the end of it. These two cores really saving the lives for them. And Chuan, I, the amount of four staffs that he had, the item control that newbie consistently showed. Oh man, this is gonna.